Hey everybody, my name is Braden Sides. I am on Team Castaplast, and here's my in the bag. I'm gonna start off with the putting putters. Um, I'm putting with the K3 Hard Reco. Um, a firm plastic, I think when it warms up, the, the grip is gonna be perfect. I like the firmness and the flight is great. I can pop them flat, they'll fly straight, kinda dive right into the chains. Moving on to my throwing putters. So I have K3 Hard Berg. I love these for short straight approaches. Um, really, I guess any type of approach. If I, need to, if I need to throw it on Anheuser, if I need to throw it on Heiser, really just kind of point and shoot. I like it for panning sidearms. Um, a great compliment to the Berg is Berg X. K1 Berg X. I really like this for hard approaches. Um, if I need to throw it flat, if like, let's say there's a touch of wind, I know this is just going to hold straight. We'll have a reliable fade. It's great if I need to throw slight flexes as well, and uh, you know, short, short chip sidearms. Next, I have the K1 Reco. This is very neutral to slightly flippy. I can throw it on a slight hyzer. It will pop up, ride straight, and just kind of die. I'll throw this anywhere up to about 300 feet. Next up in stability is the K1 Glow Reco X. Um, this is slightly more stable than the K1 Reco. This one I can throw hard and it'll go straight and have a slight fade. I can throw it on Anheuser, it will pan, but never really fight back out at the end. And then the next step up in stability is this specifically purple. K1 Reco X. This one I can throw on hard flexes, it'll pan out and still want to finish left. Um, or I can throw flat and hard and know that, you know, 60% of the way through the flight it's going to start moving left. And then last but not least, if you count the yarn as a putter, I don't really know. Maybe, maybe not. This uh, K1 Glow yarn I love the feel of this. Um, I felt some of the K1s and they all kind of have this like slight dome towards the middle. K1 Glow is very flat. Um, I can throw it hard and flat. I know it's going to go straight and have a reliable finish. Typically I'll throw this on sidearms. I'll occasionally throw it on backhand, but it's great for flat sidearms or if I need to start a, a, a sidearm on Anheuser and have it to pan, I know this is the one that I'm going to go for. And the K3 yarn is <laughs> incredibly overstable. Um, I can throw it hard and flat and it's just going to dump. I can throw flex shots that I need to pan out quickly. Um, I can throw little chip hyzers either way. And the thing I love the most about this is when it hits the ground, it just kind of sticks. It doesn't really have the skip that maybe the K1 Glow yarn has. Next up is my fairway drivers my mid I don't know but all of you on who follow cast blast a lot definitely know I'm talking about the CAC Z this disc is absolutely incredible my good friend Joseph Anderson um, relied on the CAC Z a ton and told me that I had to put one in my bag I was a little skeptical at first um, but after throwing it it is absolutely incredible it flies kind of like a mid-range, but goes just as far as a fairway driver. Um, this pink Stockholm K1, I can throw hard, flat. It's not going to drift. It will just go dead straight and have a reliable finish. I can, I can almost throw slight flex shots. As, um, but really, I just use it for straight shots that have a reliable finish up to close to 400 feet. Um, next one I have is the K1 Glow Cac Z. Um, it's just slightly more understable than the pink one I have. This one I can throw on hyzer, it will pop to flat and ride straight. I can throw it flat and it'll drift to the right. Um, so these two I think are going to be my workhorses this year. Um, and then the next tick down in stability but similar speed is the K1 Hard Stig. This disc is great for hyzer flips big high panning turnover shots or if I need to throw like tight hyzer flips that turn over late um, this disc will do it this also flies 
pretty dang far for a, such a slow feeling disc. I think it's because of this sharp edge that it has. Um, but this, I probably won't throw a ton in the open, but I can see this being really useful in the woods. My nine speed fairway drivers. I am throwing the K1 stall. This disc feels great for backhand. Um, I'll throw this for hard flat shots that I need to start fading quickly, um, or flex shots, or just spike hyzers. Um, it's a great wind fighter, and typically will have a good skip at the end. Next step down is this K1 glow stall. It flies similarly to the green one, but it's just a tick straighter. Um, if I need a disc to start fading a little bit later than the green one, I'll pull out this K1 glow. And now to what I think is probably my favorite disc so far from Cast Blast, the Lutes. Um, we'll start with my most overstable one. This one is the Joey B K1 Hard Lutes. Um, this disc has slight dome, pretty stiff, and reliable stability. I can throw it hard, it'll go straight, have a reliable fade. I'll throw this one anywhere up to about 450 feet. Um, great woods disc, not the greatest disc in the wind, um, but if it's, if it's a slight breeze, it can handle that. Um, next tick down, K1, just normal K1 loops. This disc is basically just point and shoot. Um, I can throw it flat, it'll have a slight drift, but just end up straight. Um, I can throw pushing hyzers with it, and it's great for tunnel shots. And then I have one more K1 loops. This one I'm trying to beat in to a good hyzer flip or flat to turning. Um, needs a little bit more beating in, but it's getting there. And then my other fairway drivers. So being with Castaplast, I get to th throw three other molds that are not Castaplast. And the one of the molds, this is the only non-Castaplast mold I have in my bag right now, but that mold is the Firebird. So I have one Champion Firebird. I only throw this for sidearm. I'll throw this up to about 320 feet, maybe. Um, very overstable. If I need to throw hard flex shots, chip sidearms, um, or kind of low skip shots, this disc will do it. And then perfect complement to that one is my 2022 Nate Sexton Firebird. This one I can throw hard, flat, it'll just ride straight. I can throw this up to about 350 to maybe 360 feet. And last but not least, the distance drivers. I'll start off with the most overstable one. This is a prototype K1 hard Crute. Um, if I'm gonna be, you know, when I'm playing on these golf courses in the wind, um, this is gonna be my workhorse. I can throw this thing hard, flat, and it's never going to turn. It's just gonna go straight and fade. Um, I can't throw it very far, but if I need to stay in bounds because there's a lot of wind, this is what I'm gonna go with. Uh, next tick down, trying out this K1 Crute, or yeah, trying out this first run K1 Crute. It's a little straighter than the numbers imply. You know, I can throw this slight hyzer, it'll kind of pop, but I've noticed it has a little bit more late stability than some of my Goulds. And so keeping it in the bag, my distance drivers are kind of a, a work in progress right now, but uh, trying out this first run K1 Crute. And then the next three I have are the Gould. I'm bagging three of them right now. This K1 with the blue stamp is a tick more stable than this K1 with the silver stamp. I can throw this slight hyzer. It'll pop ever so slightly, go straight, and have a reliable finish at the end. You can also throw it flat, get slight drift, but always have the left finish. Um, this K1 with the silver stamp, I can throw similarly but it's just slightly more understable. It'll ride over to the right just a little bit longer than the one with the blue stamp wheel and still have this kind of reliable finish towards the end. I'm hoping to beat this in to where I can throw it flat and hard, 
and it just drift. Slowly fight out, but never, never really want to finish back to the left. And I guess the last disc in my bag is this blue K1 Gould. I've noticed that these blue ones that I got are just slightly flatter than the other ones I got, and I love it for sidearm. I can throw this close to up to 400 feet, maybe pushing 410 or 420. Um, throw it flat, it'll drift just a little bit and have a reliable finish at the end. Um, this is gonna be, if I need to throw any kind of power sidearms, this is the disc I'm gonna be reaching for. So I just realized that I didn't shoot an outro, so I wanted to quickly say thank you guys for all the kind words that I've received since joining Team Castaplast. Super excited to be throwing their discs and representing their brand, and I'll see you guys out on the road. Peace.